Today, we will be discussing a very interesting topic which has many aspects of knowledge like culture, polity and administration and many things mixed together. That is, I am talking about the suppression of Telangana identity, rise of regional parties, change in the society. Change is happening in the Telangana society. So, this topic is different from the other topics because in other topics you will see who is who, what he is doing and what are the mulki rules, what are the court, uh, court rules or court rulings, verdicts and all those things. But today we will be discussing much about the society, much about the culture, much about the things happening in Telangana society. So, we will be covering the topics like rise of regional parties in 1980s, changes in the political, socio-economic and cultural fabric of Telangana, notion of Telugu Jati and suppression of Telangana identity. So, I am starting with the last one that is notion of Telugu Jati and suppression of Telangana identity. What is Telugu Jati? Till 1975, I am just talking about 75, we don't have a symbol of Telugu Talli or Telugu Jati. But now 1975 period we are talking about Telugu Jati or Telugu Talli or we are talking that we are all one, Telugu are one. This is not new. Actually, this started in 1912s itself. In 1920s, the idea of all Telugus under one roof in one state started in Andhra, Tenali, Andhra Mahasabalu, 1912. Since then, Andhras were trying to include on Telugus of Telangana in the name of Andhra, Vishalandhra concept. So, those things we have seen. The concept of nation or jati is very, very interesting. Like, what is a nation or a jati? See, any nationality has some common characteristics. One is language. People who speak the same language will be under one nation. This is one concept. But is this, uh, is this, this concept, will it be applicable to Telangana and Andhra so that we will be both in same state? No. Why? Because Though we speak one language, there are a lot of differences historically, economically, culturally, socially, politically happening in these two regions. So that is why Telangana was separate. Its identity got what do you call uh, it blossomed. I would like I would prefer to call as blossomed. Ante itla pushpin chindi. Telangana's culture blossomed in a different pattern because of various reasons geography plus economy and polity the final one all these things contributed these differences if we ignore that everyone is telugu it is wrong so telugu jati notion can be talked in terms of language we all can fight for the protection of telugu language but telugu language cannot be the ruling cannot be the main instrument to keep us bound in one state but what has happened? Till 1956, we were into Hyderabad state. In 1956, into Andhra Pradesh. And Andhra Pradesh, the logical reasoning is we are all Telugus. Though it is not a linguistic commission, they just manipulated and talked about the linguistic state like Telangana, Andhra, Telangana merging with Andhra and it is Andhra Pradesh. So finally, we were into Andhra Pradesh. But the integration was not there. Telangana was completely different and Andhra was completely different. That is why starting from 1956 onwards till 1969, there was no integration, completely different polity, different understanding and suppression of Telangana was there. Now we have to explore one new possibility. This is the thinking of Andhra ruling class. Andhra ruling class thought of exploring a new possibility. What is the possibility? How can you suppress the identity of Telangana. For that, what we have to do is, we have to make some changes in all aspects of life. One is intellectual or one is psychological. The second one is physical. So, we will see how the suppression happened in this period in Telangana. First, immediately in 1972, I am talking about 72 events. Till 1971-72, we see the rise of Telangana movement, Jai Telangana movement and suppression of Jai Telangana movement. Again, Jai Telangana movement going into 
political activity and TPS going into parliament and merging with Congress. All these things are happening. On the other side, another important thing has happened is Jalagam Mengal Rao was sworn in as chief minister. Jalagam Mengal Rao sworn in as chief minister in 1972 and Jalagam is best possible suitable candidate for the ruling class whether it is center or the state because Jalagam was instrumental in suppressing the aspirations of the people in Khammam itself. Jalagam was not supporting Telangana movement. Indirectly, he was trying to take the benefits out of this agitation through his group or lobby, but he was not supporting. So, Jalagam Mengal Rao, sworn in as CM, and Jalagam was instrumental in suppressing the Telangana movement as Home Minister. He was the Home Minister too in the last part. Then at the same time, he was suppressing Srikakulam armed struggle in Srikakulam. Srikakulam armed struggle is a is the part of Naxalbari movement or Naxalite movement started in Bengal, West Bengal, Naxalbari. And in Srikakulam, it was a huge armed struggle against the feudalism. Now, what has happened? As the Home Minister Jalagam Mangal Rao suppressed both the movements and now he is becoming the Chief Minister. In Telangana, he could suppress Telangana, Jai Telangana movement politically and physically. Then in Andhra, he could suppress Srikakulam armed struggle. This is the experience he has got. Ruling class need just such people. So as a result, Jalga Mengel Rao becoming the CM and from this time onwards, the suppression of identity and creation of a fake or new or false identity is starting. This is the key. This is important. Unless and until you create a new identity, unless and until you create a fake identity, new thing which is not real. But we feel that, yeah, this is us. So that fake identity, that fake understanding, that false understanding will keep us into one binding that is Andhra binding, that is Andhra Pradesh binding. This was the background. So suppression of Telangana identity was happening as a cultural act. We'll discuss threadbare how culturally the suppression of Telangana identity was happening. Second thing is the physical colonizing of Telangana. Physically, you have to colonize. We are using the term colonization. Colonization is an a word. It's a political word. We talk in terms of political science. We speak in terms of colonies. We speak in terms of imperialism. Why shouldn't we? Nehru, he himself called about imperialist designs in 1956 or 53 when Andhra was forcing us to merge with them. When your prime minister is also talking about the imperialist design, we need not worry. So you can write. The colonizing of Telangana is happening at this point of time in a different way. Physical aspect also. Till here, you can see in employment, the people from Andhra were coming into Telangana and occupying the posts. But now you can see the space, the physical space in Telangana was also given to Andhras in different aspects of life, different fields. Those things we'll discuss. So third point is, how they could succeed in blurring the identity of Telangana. I am using the word blurring. It's not completely gone. It's blurring, denting. Kunta masaka barata to the Masaka barata mante. Our identities, we will, though we have the identity, but we will not feel it. We will not claim it or we will not leave it. We will, we have to live our identities. But we don't live in that identity, but we live in a fake identity or a false identity. That is what happening in this period. This is Wengel Rao's rule. They have started. So, in 1975, a major event is happening in the lives of Telugus. That is the first attempt to bring all Telugus under one roof in terms of a notion. That is, we are all Telugus and Telugu Jati. This is not political or geographical. But now the first Telugu World Conference, World Telugu Conference, first conference, Modati Prapancha Telugu Mahasabhalu, 1975. This World Telugu Conference was held in Hyderabad, 12th to 18th April. This is a serious attempt to, to bring Telugu identity in the place of Telangana identity. Even then, till 1975 also, you can feel, you can smell, you can feel the pinch of the Telangana identity. This is what Andhra ruling class is thinking. So, you have to erase that. So, to erase it, you bring another identity that is Telugu identity, not Telangana identity. 
you can't name it as andhra identity people will repulse people will revolt so you bring telugu as the word that is why in the next course we can see ramara was also talking about telugu pride not andhra pride if you feel that telugu sir andhras even telangana people are andhras why didn't they use andhra pride they used telugu pride telugu jati gauravam or telugu pride so this telugu identity to counterpose the telangana identity you use such words in your examination you should say counterposing counterpose telangana identity to bring emotional integration between andhra and telangana unfortunately andhra includes rayalseema rayalseema is a buffer really in a two sense if we speak without any biases rayalseema is also as uh, what you call exploited as telangana but unfortunately rayalseema is always in the grip of the coastal andhra ruling class and andhra whenever we say andhra it is rayalseema too so aim is to bring 1975 world telugu conference aim is to bring emotional integration between the people of andhra pradesh as with a telugu identity so for that what you have to do really if they would have done see in our telangana history from the beginning if your intentions are not good if you feel that the integration should be very honest and we should live happily together in one geographical territory like andhra pradesh you should be honest and from day one or you can say from the in your background in your mind also even before signing an agreement you have bad intentions andhra ruling class had this problem that is why though they have forced us to join they are never honest to integrate so you see you see the efforts when they have devised when they have uh, brought out some new methods like during this world telugu conference a song ma telugu talliki malle poodanda was sung for the first time by tangadur surikumari this ma telugu talliki malle poodanda was written by shankarambadi sundaracharya a native of tirupati a tamilian by origin but inspired by some cultures of telugu so he wrote in telugu he was a teacher near tirupati tiruchanur so shankarambadi sundaracharya has written this song ma telugu talliki malle poodanda and this song was made as state anthem nothing wrong if at all you are honest but you can listen to the song you will see where are the symbols of telangana in that entire song all the symbols in the song are completely andhra identities whether it is tikkana whether it is both uh, whether it is krishna raya or whether it is all other symbols who, who and who are personalities except rudrama rudramma bhuja shakti was the only word you can feel that this is telangana word except this rudramma all are symbols from andhra six or seven people were talked about and all are from andhra you don't mention a single telugu telugu telangana personality so how can you own that song but they have imposed this song as the national uh, state anthem once you impose it as a state anthem what will happen you have to sing every day every day you carry the false identity that we are telugus and this is our pride and this is happening in 1975 second one is till then you don't have telugu talli statue now you have telugu talli statue telugu talli a statue an idol vigraham is being made as a symbol of telugu pride once you make a statue that to a feminine statue a woman that to with some aspects of divinity you see telugu talli it's like any goddess do you have is it secular it looks like a goddess then once a statue is made like a goddess and with telugu as the tag definitely you will incorporate some of the bhakti element into it that is why telugu talli statue came and very interestingly telugu talli statue was was installed was kept at secretariat and in many places in telangana and not in andhra it seems andhras don't need a telugu talli because it's her mother their mother and telugu telangana people need a telugu talli so that they have to be inculcated this feeling of telugu this is another aspect they were importing into telangana first one is ma telugu talli ki song second one is this statue of telugu talli when we speak of statues interesting thing in the 
this phase only, interamura phase only, I will be talking about statues, erected statues on tangment. We will see how the issue of statues is, is very important. Because in our Telangana formation, during Million March, demolition of statues was a debate. So, we will talk about it too. Then, then comes during this World Telugu Conference, some people, Telangana people opposed. At the same time, Revolutionary Writers Association, where some people opposed it. Why? Because they are saying that you have suppressed the Telangana movement on one side. I said in 1971, Virasam already opposing the repression in Telangana. At the same time, they were opposing the repression on Sri Kakulam armed struggle. At the same ruling class, Andhra ruling class is suppressing the, both the movements. One is against feudalism, the other is against the Andhra ruling class hegemony or the rights issue of Telanganites. Just issue, democratic issue means we want our own rule, self-rule of Telangana. So, that is why Virasam, Viplavara Chaitala Sangam or English, we call it as Revolutionary Writers Association. They have opposed World Telugu Conference and they were taking procession and they were arrested. The arrested were including like great poet like Sri Sri in those days. Then Charabanda Raju, a Digambra Kavi later became a Viplava Kavi, Jwala Mukhi. Many people, many poets took out a procession against this World Telugu Conference, declaring that we are boycotting it. Then, police arrested these people and arrested under MISA, Maintenance of Internal Security Act. Poets protesting against a cultural event is a threat to internal security. Remember, this is the aspect. Whenever you write a descriptive answer, don't just put the point. You have to elaborate the things beyond the sentences which you can see and examiner will be appreciating. Understand? So, you have to write like this, MISA, they were arrested under MISA. Because it seems poets opposing a cultural event is a security to internal, uh, a internal security threat. Is it, is it not laughable? So, this is the thing. So, this is about World Telugu Conference. Then coming to the physical aspect of conquering Hyderabad. Andhra ruling class always had, an, had ice on Hyderabad. Not now, from the beginning. If we quickly recollect, in 1948 itself, when Andhra state would have been formed, the center was saying yes, Nilam Sanjeev did a post. He said, till the question of Hyderabad is settled, we will wait. Why Hyderabad should be settled? You can come out, carve out a new state from on the Madras province and can be an Andhra state? No. They wanted Hyderabad to be free so that you can come. Again, come to 1953. I am quick recap. Madhabu Shanam the Deputy Speaker of Lok Sabha, an MP from Tirupati, what did he say? Our juggernaut or our chariot will not stop at Kandanavolu or Karnulu till we will just move till we reach Hyderabad. So, from the beginning, they are having the eyes on Hyderabad. Hyderabad as the capital, so that you can exploit a ready-made capital, a wonderful city, very fortunately for them, built 400 years back, modeled on the one of the finest cities of 16th century Isfahan in Iran. And here you have a wonderful city, all ready-made buildings, all the assembly buildings, town hall buildings, all majestic buildings, these things you can exploit. You need not construct each and everything. A ready-made city wanted to be, they wanted it to be the capital. At the same time, not just the capital and buildings, Telangana has high resources. The physical resources also should be counted. One first physical resource is water. Second physical resource is about the energy, Singarini mines. And third one is employment. And fourth one is, of course, the whole territory. If you have a bigger territory, you can have a bigger market. If you have a bigger territory, you can rule a bigger place with lot of population and you can have lots of things starting from your political advantage till the commissions. I am saying very frankly, commissions, lunchal. So, you need a big territory. This is what Andhra ruling class thought of. That is why they had eyes on Hyderabad. And conscious effort to colonize Hyderabad has begun in this period. Before that, we were talking about jobs. Now, we are talking about the physical space. They are occupying the physical space. Even in 1920, some of the people came and settled near project areas when Nizam asked. Even in 40s, 50s, some people came. But employment is the major aspect. 
and agriculture is another aspect. Settlements of Andhras in the, near the dams. Now, the place in Hyderabad itself is being colonized. Two important things are happening. One is industrial estates are coming, coming up in Hyderabad. Second one is film industry gradually shifting to Hyderabad. This is basically a physical activity. Physical film industry coming to Hyderabad is a physical activity. But just, just not physical. It has some other things also. Once the physical film industry comes, it will have its cultural impact on Hyderabad too. That is what we have to understand. So, APIAC, AP Industrial Infrastructure Corporation started in 1973, started around 15 industrial estates and like Nacharam, Hudbullapur, all these areas, whatever came up in the latter period. During Nizam period, the industrial estate was, major industrial estate was our Azamabad industrial area or Katidan. So, in the latter phase, we have many new industrial estates came. Sanatnagar was also old. Sanatnagar came in 1960s. And 73 onwards, you have new industrial areas. And BHEL already started. So, BHEL ancillary estate started near BHEL. At the same time, when you start a new industrial estate, what you will do? You will allocate. What do you allocate? The industrial plots in the industrial estate will be allotted to the entrepreneurs or the industrialists from Andhra. So now first the land is going to Andhra industrialists. In this way, first of all, they have established an industrial class in Hyderabad city as the people who are going to be the new rulers of Hyderabad. That is why we can see in the last phase of our movement in Hyderabad, separate Telangana movement was at least feeble, not so strong because the cultural demography the physical demography or the characters of Hyderabad state was completely altered. So, the denting or suppression of Telangana identity, Hyderabad is the best example. Apart from that, apart from those industrial estates, lead cap, that is Leather Industries Development Corporation of Andhra Pradesh was formed by merging Hyderabad tanneries and some of the tanneries which were originally a Hyderabadi or a Telangana. So, once you merge all these things, all the facilities, the market, schemes, money, allocation will be made available to the entire area so that the Andhra ruling class can get benefited. Hyderabad Chemical and Fertilizers was taken over by AP Agro Industries Corporation. Like this, in the next phase, during liberalization, during globalization, we will be talking about disinvestments and those things. This is the first phase. Here it is not globalization or liberalization. It is a colonization of Andhras making all the resources, physical resources like industries, industrial areas and the scope of industry made available to the Andhra ruling class or Andhra industrialists. This is one. Then coming to the employment in these areas, who are the people to, be, to work in the, uh, of, in the factories? The people who are working in the factories, the technical people were from definitely they should be from nearby areas. What are the nearby areas? The best example is the case study of Medak District ex Employment Exchange. During 1970 and 80, we can see a great influx into Medak District Employment Exchange where people from Andhra region were coming and staying here and taking the employment exchange card from Medak District Employment Exchange card, headquarters of Sangharedi. Even in my childhood, I am from a I am from Sangharedi, I am a native of Sangharedi. I could see many Andhras coming and standing in the queue near employment exchange to take an employment card from this place. So why they were taking? Because once you have Medak employment exchange card, you will be preferred in the industries in and around Hyderabad. So what is happening? Employees, workers are also from Andhra and coming and occupying the place which is reserved for Telanganas. This is another major aspect. So, employment plus land in industries is gone. Then, very interesting aspect. Everyone will be happy to see a film. We are all happy watching films. We are all happy enjoying the films. Happy to see heroes, heroines and all in, get involved everything. But the Telugu film industry since beginnings, it has completely Andhra bias. Very frankly, it has Andhra bias. It was never intended to serve or cater Telangana. So, Telugu film industry originally, since Madras province was there for them, so it started. Telugu film industry has it, had its beginnings in Chennai, 
but 1970s is the period when Telugu film industry is being shifted to Hyderabad. Why they were shifting? Did Chennai industry force them to go? No. But here the Andhra ruling class thought that once we come to Hyderabad, Hyderabad is a fantastic place weather wise. You see, you have a weather, a climatic condition, we, our climatic conditions are so fine that it is not too harsh. So this is fascinating aspect for your life. Even today, many of surveys says Hyderabad is one of the, one. Of, it's not one, it is the best place to live in, a city, best place to live in India, one of the cities. It is in top two always. So this, these things definitely helped. At the same time, the capital, the subjugation of Telangana and occupying the Telangana space is very important. Film is a very important instrument. So many studios were shifted. Government gave subsidies through AP State Film Development Corporation. Who is ruling? Your Andhra ruling class is there. Automatically the development corporation will be headed by the people who are in your favor. In Telugu there is a power. Vadinche vadu manavadaite. Yekada guchuna manavistarlo laddu ochi baratadu. So the ruling class that is Andhra ruling class is there. So automatically wherever you are you will get all the benefits. You will reap the benefits. Subsidy was given to the film industry for lands, for studios, theatres, film making, everything was subsidized. At least 30 to 40 percent amount was subsidized for many studios. If we take out the statistics, you can see how the people's money was spent on private people. You can take Annapurna Studios and Ramakrishna Studios, Horticultural Studios. In the heart of the city, you have Ramakrishna Horticultural Studios. And you have a lot of investment for the theatres, for Ramakrishna Studios and this group company. Padmalaya, Ramanedu, all these studios are coming up in this period. And they were allocated acres of land so that they can have a, palace, a very a huge land at their disposal and construct that. We can see the images of these things on the screen. And film industry utilized all these resources of Hyderabad and settled in Hyderabad. Now I am breaking here and I am talking about another thing. Recently I heard an interview of some prominent personality of Telugu film industry and he was saying that one person asked some of the office bearer of this movie make association or something body. One journalist asked him from Andhra, see when are you shifting the film industry to Andhra? Then that person said, you see, from Chennai shifting to Hyderabad took at least 20 years. Andhra state is, Andhra Pradesh is just now getting ready for us. So it will take some time. You can see the clear understanding or alienation from Telangana. The Telugu film industry which has to cater all Telugus, what they are thinking, it is for Andhra. So in this way, we can see the understanding of Telugu industry completely catering the needs of Andhra. So, they have utilized all the resources to alienate Telangana in many ways.